tuba tubas oh you tubas berg here friday morning oh i can't believe it's friday's i'm so happy i'm so happy that it's friday's got a yabo a opened yabo i can't ever wait uh done a little trading with clayton or my old buddy me and Clayton get together and uh, something get we get we trade something off every time, and uh, we like to trade. We're old horse traders like our daddies were, and uh, we talk about our daddies a lot doing that, uh, getting out and trading and swapping and doing around, and uh, we got it in our blood. And uh, I had a couple pipes Clayton was wanting instead of changing money. We made a trade, and I got a bag of Penzance. Oh, an unopened, beautiful bag of Penzance from Esoterica. Can't beat that. Can't beat that. Got a got a note from uh, got a bro note from my brother Clayton, and I said, "Berg, hope all is well. Thanks for the trade. Keep on cheating." And, uh, yeah, yeah we, we've made several trades in the last couple of weeks and always doing something. I've been trying to move some pipes that I ain't been smoking, never smoked, whatever the case may be. Any words. Got a letter from Mel Harris. Yes, sir. Oh, Mel Harris, the garbage. Garbage man choocher. The old garbage man choocher. He uh he said, Todd, my brother, hope hope you're uh doing well. Was sending out stickers and uh thought thought of you, Mel and uh Garbage Man Piper. He says, Sweet chicken. Uh thank you, Mel. Uh I've got stickers from a lot of different folks. And if you got a sticker I'm gonna. I used to keep it on my laptop, but I went to these uh, this computer and got these screens now. But I'm fixing to put a backdrop up. And uh, if you've ever given me a sticker, if you got another one, send me one. And uh, I'm gonna make a sticker board for the YTPC, and uh, we're gonna put some stickers up. A lot of people do stickers in other communities. Uh, my good buddy Calvin's Corner 72. Calvin, send me another sticker if you get a chance. I'm going to make me a board, and I'm going to put yours up there. And, of course, OMS and different ones I'll be putting up. Any words? Got a, got a surprise here. Going to do. Thank you for the sticker, Mel. Got a tin of Mississippi River. This is from 2012. Uh, 11 or 12. I'm, I'm thinking 12. Uh I've, I have been lucky enough to uh, buy several tins of this and put it up, and then the the tan tins that come out after that, I'll be showing one of those. I'm going to do a tin opening on those, too. Uh, Mississippi River used to be a fantastic, just the Virginias were just uh, kind of the McClellan's barbecue, uh, smoky, tangy, dark fruit, just... Uh, the, the Virginia Virginia were so nice in it and uh, I'm gonna say it right off I think it's a Virginia forward uh, tobacco uh, the Virginias are the star of the show the Perique is real nice spicy a little raisin and fig and uh, the Latakia is sweet smoky musty good 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 extra good it's got some orientals in it. The orientals are are in the background. I have smoked this so so many times that I just I know this blend by hot hot, and uh, love this blend. And we're gonna we're gonna do a review on it anyway. But uh, Seattle Pipe Club puts this out. And uh, 
It says Mississippi River actually appeared uh, to Master Blender Joe Langford in a dream, awakened from a sound sleep. He grabbed a pencil and subscribe, uh, scribbled a recipe before the memory faded. The next morning, he used those notes to create a Virginia blend like no other. Mississippi River was born. The rest is history in a tin. Enjoy the rich Virginia's pressed in a cake with oriental leaf, a pinch of Latakia, and Perique, a pinch now. Uh, or a pinch of uh, oriental leaf and Latakia and Perique. Exceedingly popular with good reason. The most sought after small batch blend in America since 2007. That's when it come out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause it just a minute and uh, I'll be right back. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back. Uh, this, uh, this has uh, Red Virginia's and uh, Stove Virginia's. To make this blend and like i say the virginias are the star of the show here we go ladies and gentlemen this is 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 about seven year old tobacco seven or eight year old somewhere in that range oh my that that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That is Mississippi uh, River. Oh, my. Now, I'm going to tell you, this right here is about where tobacco needs to be. I'm sure y'all can see a little bit of crystal on there. I'm sure after getting some air, it will plume up, but let me tell you uh, what. I have opened these up, and it would be one solid one solid block of tobacco. Just a brownie. And I've opened it up like this. I've opened it up, and it'd just be cake. And I've opened it up, and it'd be like this. A bunch of little pieces and little chunks. Maybe not just all ribbon. This smells like McClellan's. It smells like ketchup, tomato ketchup. Uh, and let me tell you, Mississippi River took a <clears throat> took a bad spell where about sixteen, late fifteen, sixteen, somewhere around in there, it just it just kind of didn't taste the same. Uh, Mississippi River will never be like this right here, I don't think, again, with the uh, real powerful uh, barbecue, but it's close. It is a fine tobacco, uh, the new Mississippi River. I like it, but I wished it was back like this. A beautiful, beautiful thing it was. Crumble cake. Really happy to get this. I have gifted Salam a few tens of the old Mississippi River, and he got lucky and got five pounds of the uh, of the bulk Mississippi River. You could get Mississippi River in a bulk, and uh, he shared and give me some of it, and it was mighty good. I'm gonna pause it. We're gonna pack a bow in this Peterson, this this straight Peterson Bulldog, uh, 150. Look on to it. A 150 Peterson P lip, a gift from my good buddy Tennessee Bull. Look on to the grain on this beautiful. Peter Song, Chucher. Give me a minute. Now, 
Wow. Let me pause it just a second. 